welcome to Eco Farms. This is episode 22 and we start off by collecting our mushrooms from both our greenhouses and we're going to take them down, get them sold then we'll just run through the whole income procedure today because it's pretty exciting well certainly for our farm now Let's get the second lot loaded. It's not quite a full load on that one. It's still not too bad. There's a bit bumpy going up here, but it's not too bad. Let's get that stripped in and we'll uh, nip one down to the farm shop. Um, so it's the farm shop at the at the store, at the machine store. And we'll get these sold and then we'll come back and do the flowers and we'll go through the whole the whole sale procedure or the whole income procedure this this month just because it's pretty good and pretty exciting now, as you can see as we drive past here the first couple of wheat fields are ready for harvest so we will be doing that today as well or this month should we say oh, we are just just about at the farm let's see what we get for this lot this is very exciting I think for the first time we're going to make some decent money certainly offloads very quickly yeah? very efficient staff down here at this farm shop well, just under 40 grand for that load so this is going to make this income from these four greenhouses is going to make quite a difference to our growth pattern and we've uh, we probably deserve it even though I say so myself we have worked pretty hard getting things up and going the town is pretty happy with what we're supplying them so we cannot complain and of course this is not a full a full production cycle uh, as such um, because the second greenhouses have not produced two full production cycles <laughs> if you get what I mean <laughs> there was only with this 10 from the from the original greenhouse 10 uh, 10 pallets and um, only seven pallets from the from the second from the new greenhouses which means um it's still three pallets short of a full delivery cycle so this beginning i have to manually load these i think i'm going to have to take down that tree and just replant another tree what we'll do is we'll take down that tree and we'll plant another fully grown tree and that will uh, take care of any of the extra car carbon emissions and naughtiness of cutting down a tree <laughs> oh dear right, there's the last one coming up now we should get a like amount maybe slightly less but it's still going to make a substantial difference to the way we operate in the future it's going to allow us to expand a bit right off we go let's go and get these delivered potatoes are coming along quite nicely whoops that's not the right way should have gone right not left <laughs> just looking at our potatoes oh dear now we're bumping into trees. Don't admire your potatoes. Concentrate on the job at hand. <laughs> right, let's get down to the store and get those sold. Flowers. Yeah, it's still, the best price is still at the at the farm shop at the store. Yeah, we are just about here. Let's see what we get for these. Right, 
what did we get for the lower? It was about 39. So I think flowers are not quite as big an income generator, but still shouldn't be too bad. Let's have a look. 34. Yeah, that's good. So we're here just over 70,000. And we haven't done any of our, our basic deliveries yet. Or our original deliveries. They'll all become basic deliveries. So we'll head up back to the farm and we'll pick up actually two new products as well. Which we haven't had before. So yeah, we're really on the move. Farm is really looking good. Especially now that we've got some fields to harvest as well. It's looking nice and full and and working. Now, I don't think, and I can't recall whether I showed you, but I put in a, um, a small apple orchard just behind the sheds. There's a few trees and we've got a couple of apples there that we can take in. It's just a um, a mod that comes from the 60 buildings pack and uh, yeah it's it's quite nice because you you plant five trees at a time in, the, in, the, in this mod and all it requires is water so very easy to ma maintain so we'll go and pick up those then we'll go clear the rest of the product that is ready for um, for sale in town keep our town nice and stocked up and fed keep the people happy keep the mayor happy I have a little idea which I, I've put to the mayor and uh, we'll see whether he agrees to it that may come in the next episode so we'll I think it's fairly exciting. It's certainly going to help us out. Create a bit of uh, style for the for the town as well. Why have we? Did we? We must have delivered quite late yesterday. Because I can't remember now. It is, it's, it's very early morning. Maybe that's it. I'm not sure. I would have expected more, more from the greenhouse. We did have that little problem, didn't we? I don't know. We'll have to just keep an eye on that. Um, not sure why that seemed to be. Well, it could be that we delivered late in the day, because there's, there's normally three or four pallets here, and there's only two. In any case, that's. Uh, just the way it is. Uh, that's what's ready for delivery. We'll take those in. Then we should have our first couple of pellets from our orchard that we planted in the last episode. It looks like two pellets up there. So that's good. So we're getting quite a good spread of, of product which we're delivering into the town. It's all looking good. Pears, how much are we going to get for those? Farmer's market looks like the place to sell it. Just going to do a bit of work on the, on the mill and the bakery. We'll collect the product from the bakery, but we'll just put the flour that has been produced and a bit of pig food. We need to come and collect some of the pig food now. How many how many pellets have we got down here now? Oh, there's only two. We'll let it stock up for a while. And then we'll uh, come and get a load from the... Uh, from the windmill, or from the flower mill, should I say. 
and get that into the pigs. Yeah, originally it was my plan to to use the windmills and maybe a few more windmills to um, produce pig feed, but the rate that they go through the pig feed at, I don't think it's going to be viable. Right, so let's collect the noodles and the bread. We've got an extra box of noodles. I suppose we'll get an extra box every now and again as it because I think normally we only get four and we've got four normally we only get three I think we've got four this time swings and roundabouts on everything I think and then we'll go and pick up the eggs and then we'll head into town and deliver those Just see how bumpy it is at this little area now. Oh, it's a little bit, but it's acceptable. It's not bouncing around. Just a little bit of a dip. You don't see too many absolutely smooth farm roads around, let me tell you. Just collect the eggs and. Uh, I won't show it, but we'll obviously do our, make sure that our extra male chicks have been sold or been collected. It's all done. Chicks have been collected, or the male chicks have been collected. We're looking good on the chicken front, so I think that's probably a record a record for um, for eggs for the month as well. Well, we'll see you in town and we'll go and get these delivered. But yeah, we are in town. I can drop these off at the Farmers Market, I think. It's where we're getting the best price for our eggs and bread, so we'll get pretty much everything delivered there except the noodles. That should bring in a nice little bit of income as well. How much are we going to get from this? I think the fruit bring in a reasonable amount, so. Thirteen thousand, that's looking good. Gonna get this delivered. Should also bring in a, a little bit more than it normally would. Simply because there's an extra box. Yep. That's looking good. Right, let's get back to the farm. And I think we can pretty much get started on the... Well, first of all, we've got pigs to sell. Let's add that into the income. We've got a couple of porkers, male porkers that need to be sold in terms of our, our pig regime. We won't go through all the feeding, but we will feed them, of course, as well. So what have we got there? 60. That's another six grand coming in there. Indeed, I think we've still got some more left. The 12 of those. Smallish amount, but that's that, so that's, uh, yeah, looking good. 
So we were up to just over 90,000 before we did the leasing of our, our harvester and we've leased a slightly, slightly bigger header. Not 100% sure that the dates file handle it, so holding our breath a little bit, but I think it will. It'll just uh, speed up the, the harvest a little bit and can get started. It's always exciting when you first harvest of the season. You're going to be pretty busy on harvesting well, for the next couple of months, really. Yeah, I had spent a little bit of time going through the through the different harvesters and then decided to still stick with the dates file. That's what we used. And I think um, with the slightly bigger header, it's still the best value. It does the job quick, quick enough for the size of our fields. At the right, it's never the right price, but at a decent price compared to some of the more high powered, more modern harvesters. And uh, this works at the same speed, so it's just that it possibly could, you know, if we go up a, a bit in horsepower, we could possibly run a bigger header. But yeah, I'm satisfied with this at this stage didn't take that long. We'll get a little bit done at normal speed and then we'll put this onto a time lapse and we'll get back to you once it's done. You can see, you can see those little areas where I've trashed the field, cutting the corners. That's it. Don't leave too much on the field. Of course, we've got all the straw which can go into the into the pigs as well. It'll, uh, they haven't had straw for, uh, well, I suppose, a little bit of this month. Okay, so yeah, we go. We've put that onto a bit of a time lapse, and we'll catch you once it's done.
Well, we're just about done. It's got this last pass to make. Went pretty smoothly, actually. The only thing that could have gone a bit smoother, um, I suppose, is that this last what would have been exactly the width of the of the um, of the header, but uh, we've done it freehand as such. Not too bad. We haven't left a huge amount on, to, on the on the field. The yield has been reasonable, but the fields are small, so I'm really not sure that we can survive just on the harvest to supply the grain needed for the pigs and the food that's needed for the chickens so we're going to have to be a little bit creative and I'll discuss that a little bit more once we've finished this harvest in terms of uh, trying to make the best of our harvest it's just about done we'll just nip off and go and offload it into the trailer So we've still got, we've got the, we've got one, two, I think we've got four more fields of wheat to, to harvest next month. Two of them are reasonable sized fields, two of them are quite small. These three have been, two of them have been very small, one of them has been smallish. Well, a bit bigger bit, which is the one that we're on now. So yeah, I, I, I really don't think grain-wise we're going to be self-sufficient, so we're going to have to rethink that, um, certainly for the next season. Right, let's just go and park this off. We'll, we won't return this to the store, but we'll keep it overnight. So we'll be ready for harvesting these other fields. And then we'll take the grain up to the silo and I'll go through my plan to maximize our wheat harvest. Let's get that parked off. Oh, so there might have been a bit of wheat still left in the, because this is full, so I didn't check that out. It's probably a little bit in the tank still in the, in the harvester. Well, we'll catch that in the next, um, in the next month with the harvester. We'll go and fill this up now. So we didn't have quite a full load when we offloaded the last time. I think it was only about 8,000 so we should have about I would say about 20,000 litres of um, of wheat from those fields. Now what I'm going to do and this is a bit of a conundrum in terms of whether this is really eco-friendly. It's probably not. Let me know what you think in the comments but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to arbitrage the um, the wheat, so I'm going to sell the wheat at 7.19 and then we're going to be buying in barley to feed our chickens and that would be at around about oh, just over the 300 euros per thousand litres from the um, from the store so that'll just give us income to be able to increase the amount of product that we can put into the into the chickens and into the pigs as I said the conundrum is is that really eco-friendly I mean we don't really know 
the conditions that the barley was grown under that we're buying in. So let me know whether you think that's right or wrong and uh, we'll take it from there. Right, let's get the barley so 12,000 litres that is only going to, it's going to cost us less than 3,000 because we've got a lot more for it when we sold the wheat. Yeah, as I say, bit of a conundrum. Let me know what you think in the comments. Right now we're going to go and feed the chickens and I think there'll be quite a bit left over which we'll put into the, into the mill to make the flour. I did think and I abandoned the idea of doing the same thing with the straw because we could get quite a good price for the straw on the um, on the open market I thought to myself well we can sell the straw for export and then uh, and then buy in local straw again at a much lower price and I decided that that was not the right thing to do <laughs> um, and that's actually coming up because we haven't actually collected the straw yet so yeah pretty pretty inconsistent with this arbitrage thoughts in my mind <laughs> oh dear in any case I've done it now in terms of the of the wheat and I think I will do it for the for the rest of this harvest with the wheat and barley but as a compromise I won't do it on the I won't take the profit on the straw <laughs> oh dear what a wuss <laughs> okay, let's get this into the <laughs> into the um, Oh, where am I going? <laughs> into, <laughs> into the into the flower mill. <laughs> oh, I'm still I'm still churning this whole arbitrage thing over in my head. Uh, I've got another pallet of bread. Might have two pallets of bread for delivery next month. Not complaining about that. Right, let's get back down to drop this off. And you know what? We haven't planted the trees for leasing the harvester. Nearly forgot about that. We'll go and do it now. Let's just unhook here and we'll go and We'll just snap up to the top to our tree planting area and we'll go and plant three trees. I did think about it while we were harvesting but uh, I couldn't remember whether we'd done it or not but I'm pretty sure we haven't. No, we definitely haven't. So let's get some nice big trees planted. feel better about uh, using fossil fuels then. Which tree shall we plant? I think in our uh, they've got to be the big ones. They've got to be fully grown. We did plant pine the last time. I think we'll plant something different this time. Won't necessarily go for the most expensive. Larger oaks would be nice. I think uh, if we if we hire any really big equipment, we'll plant oaks. So we'll plant a spruce. 
Number one. Number two. Number three. And we can all breathe again. Well, that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you've, if you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. It does help me. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.